Hi, we are Team Quantum Robotics and this is our 2022 System Acceptance Review for the University Rover Challenge. This year, we focused on the improvement of our rover score systems, as well as our plan to successfully accomplish the competition missions. We implemented a suspension system inspired by our rocker bogey. This arrangement allows the rover to maintain its wheels in contact with the ground while passing through regular terrain, such as inclined planes, rocks, sand and fragile structures without compromising the integrity of any subsystem. Furthermore, the wheel placement enables the rover to easily rotate on its own axis. The newly GPU designed wheels provide outstanding traction and flexibility that contribute to stability. In addition, the improved mechanical design based on bearings eases the assembly process and focuses on protecting the motors from critical collisions. We made several finite elements analysis to guarantee that our designs and material selection were the most favorable. By reinforcing critical areas with rigid materials and taking advantage of additive manufacturing, it became possible to propose hybrid approaches that were structurally optimal. This year, lightweighting technologies played a major role during the rover's design. In comparison with last year, through topological optimization, the total mass of the rover decreased by 20%. The rover has a complete control power system that allows to monitor and control the energy given to each component, all secure with dedicated fuses per actuator. To ensure the integrity of the circuit, we incorporate a safety kill switch, a thermal circuit breaker that limits the flow of current to 120 amperes. Fraction is powered by Falcon 100, that has a built-in encoder that improves the control motion in autonomous period. We implemented a communication link made up of omnidirectional antennas using the 900 MHz frequency, taking advantage of its long range and performance of the MIMO system antennas. In our tests, we were able to establish communication to transmit and receive packets over one kilometer away without line of sight. In the same way, it was possible to determine the channel with the least packet loss and noise interference. Talking about the robotic arm, its five degrees of freedom allow us to fulfill tasks such as manipulating small objects, typing, operating on a joystick, and carrying the five kilograms payload. The gripper includes a three set of servo modules that provide them fine movement and a TPU inner structure that deforms according to the object to be manipulated. The gearbox and electronic system in our arm allow us to provide high efficiency PID control. Furthermore, they are implemented with the CAM protocol, which helps us to reduce the wiring and provides an efficient energy supply. We performed the forward and inverse kinematics for our 5 degrees of freedom robotic arm. Additionally, we implemented a graphic interface arm control program, which allows us to move each joint individually and trajectories planning. With this, we achieved a practical and efficient way to fulfill all the manipulation tasks by positioning the final effector at an optimal position. Additionally, we implemented a PID control with absolute encoders for the arm in order to perform a high accuracy movement. For autonomous navigation, we implemented a closed-loop speed control that uses encoders on each drive motor. We also have an extended Kalman filter, which helps us merge the measurements of our IMU sensor, GPS, and odometry from our set camera. To reach each AR code, we have an algorithm that directs the rover to each specific GPS coordinates. Likewise, as it goes following the codes, it also detects objectives that can avoid its passage by the depth sensing of the camera. And also, to decide which action a robot will take, we have a multiplexer that helps us prioritize between avoiding obstacles and following the GPS coordinates. We choose a lab nowadays methodology as our live detection method. Our system collects a sample of the soil and then the sample travels across the lab until it meets its several reactants. Said reactants will tell us if there are any biomolecules in our sample. The sample and the reactants need to be centrifuged for the reaction to occur. The result of analysis will be observed as a change of color in the mixture. Therefore, thanks to set color metric changes, we will be able to determine the presence or absence of light. We've implemented a ROS package with OpenCV to detect the colors in HSP scale, avoiding the wanted effects of natural light. These colors are mapped to the chemistry results, such as proteins and phospholipids. For automatical analysis of multiple samples, QR codes have been placed in qubits. These qubits are rotated automatically in the base until the next QR is found. 